Hello Seahawk country and welcome back to another exciting edition of Seahawk Central Sports. I'm Caitlin Dula here to bring you the inside scoop on all things happening in the UNCW sporting world. Pack up your snow gear and prepare your opening day outfit because spring sports are just around the corner. Don't touch that dial because Seahawk Central Sports starts right now. It's been a tough season for the men's basketball team as they have now fallen to 0-8 in CAA conference play and 6-17 and overall. The Seahawks lost a nail-biter to the University of Delaware who is undefeated in CAA play. Both teams struggled, though the first half included 6 ties and 12 lead changes. But as it came down the stretch, it was all Blue Hens as they edged out UNCW by a point winning 66 to 65. The women's basketball team is looking just as gloomy. They recently faced conference opponent Northeastern where they fell short with a score of 56 to 44. UNCW freshman Ryan Flowers led the way with 15 points and a game high 11 rebounds. The Seahawks only trailed by one point midway through the second half, but a three-pointer by junior Amincy Mercier propelled the Huskies on a 13-2 run. This was the first time the women have lost in the Kabat Arena since February 10, 2010. The countdown is on until the start of baseball season. The Diamond Hawks will heat up Brooksfield for the first time on Friday, February 14th. But before UNCW has even taken the field, some players are already receiving a little bit of recognition. The Seahawks have four players, Matt Batts, Kelly Seacrest, Ryan LaGrange, and Luke Dunlap, who have all been named to the CAA's preseason conference team. Terrence Conley, Jordan Ramsey, and Corey Dick all received honorable mentions. The team as a whole is also receiving a little bit of attention after being picked to win the CAA this season. Congratulations to all the players and good luck this season. The road to Omaha starts now. From one diamond to another, the Lady Seahawks softball team kicks off their season this weekend against Maryland Eastern Shore in the Charleston Southern Tournament. The women will also face off against Elon and Charleston Southern. The start to the new season is not the only thing UNCW has to be excited about. Head coach Christy Norton announced the signing of five players through the National Letters of Intent for the class of 2015. All five ladies signed during the fall and each embodied the idea that they want to help UNCW be at the top of the CAA during their time here. If you have ever wanted to play a sport in college but were too busy with academics to play a club sport and not athletic enough to play a varsity sport, have no fear because UNCW's campus recreation has just the thing for you. Intramural sports. They have a variety of sports such as badminton, indoor soccer, and softball, just to name a few. Each offers students the chance to participate in friendly competition with other members of the Seahawk body. Visit the campus recreation page to learn more. Don't forget that there are also opportunities to become official for each of these sports. This week, Joe Ostasowetsky from the popular NBC show, The Biggest Loser, was on campus to address issues concerning how athletics, obesity, and media coverage affect weight and wellness. The 44-year-old is a former Florida State and Miami Dolphins defensive lineman. He and his brother Henry started the nonprofit organization Wear Your Soul. This organization helps to inspire children to live a healthy lifestyle through outdoor sports. If you are looking for a great way to show your Seahawk pride, stop by any participating Port City Java location and pick up your UNCW travel mug. UNCW Athletics has partnered with the Seahawk Club to benefit student athlete scholarships. The mug is just $10, includes a complimentary cup of coffee, and comes with a lifetime discount on future Port City Java purchases. So go pick up yours today before it's too late. Well, Seahawk Nation, that's all we have for this week's episode of Seahawk Central Sports, presented by UNCW's Teal TV. Be sure to check out all of our team's Twitter pages for the most up-to-date sports news. Until next time, I'm Caitlin Dula saying so long and be sure to keep supporting your student-athletes. 
Good night, everyone. <laughs> Uh, the first time's over. You guys can stop recording now. Oh, you recorded that? Awesome.